Alang na Ama at nanak ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Sumain niyo ang Panginoon at sumain niyo rin. Panginoong Jesus, Tinatawak mo ang lahat ng mga napapakot at nalulubay, nangako ka ng pagsisiklahin mo sila at bibigyan ng bagong lakas upang hanapin ang bawat araw. Ininudulot namin sa iyo ang aming mga alalahanin, mga suliranin at mga kahirapan. Inilalakay namin sa iyo puso ang mga miyembro ng aming pamilya Ami mga kaibigang nabibigatan sa mga kabiguan at pagka 
si Pio. Itinitaas din namin sa iyo ang mga taong nag-iisa sa buhay at walang nanalangin para sa kanila. Makiliwanag ka nawa namin sa mga sandali ng kadaliman. Ikaw na nabubuhay at nanghahari magpa sa walang hanggan. Um. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, and Herod was tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip tetrarch of the region of Ituraea and Trachonitis, and Isanias was tetrarch of Galilee, during the high priesthood of Anas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, the son of Zechariah in the desert. John went throughout the whole region of the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins, as it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah. A voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight paths, straight his paths, every valley shall be filled, and every the windy roads shall be made straight, and the rough ways shall be made smooth, and all flesh shall show in salvation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to the Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection Throughout the Gospel, God goes to the heart of the problem, which is in the human heart. 